Hey guys, Chris here from Art and Soul along with Tyler. Uh, if you were with us last week, you remember this abstract gold leaf project we're working on. Uh, I believe Mary has it on the schedule already. So check our schedule out. This will be coming up probably a couple of times anyway. So uh, this is the finished product, uh, the original piece that we worked off of. And uh, go back and check our other two videos out in this series to catch up if you've missed them. So here's where we are. Uh, this is where we left off last time you were with us and we uh, in our last episode, we filled in this gold leaf here. This piece not quite done yet. I just, this will be quick, all right? But I wanna show you how to finish this up. And uh, all we're gonna do is fill in these small voids, right, where the gold leaf was at. I, I really couldn't finish it last time we were together because that was wet glue. And I needed this paint to stick to it. Now all I'm adding is a little bit of black, a little bit of red, but I wanna thin it out a little bit so when I do get on that gold, that it becomes a little transparent enough that that gold shows through. So we'll get kind of a reflective black and red quality. May or may not show up in the video, but trust me, I know you do. All right, so we're just gonna touch up where this white is showing through in the background, okay? A little wet black paint. You can also do this, for those of you that have been painting a little while, there's a glazing medium that you can thin this paint down with instead of water and it'll make it even a little more transparent. Water works okay, but the glazing medium works great. You can pick it up at any Hobby Supply Store, Hobby Lobby Michaels, they all have glazing compound for acrylic paint. All right, so I'm just filling, like I said, filling in those white voids. It's okay if I get over into that black a little bit. We'll soften that edge some, okay? A couple more black spots here, just to show you where we're headed. You can get up there in the gold, make you a few dark spots if you like, okay? I think you can get the idea from that. Now, we'll do the same thing in the red. Rinse my brush out a little. Water some red paint down. Thin it out a little bit, I should say. And right here, where that white's showing through. And again, don't be afraid to go over on top of that gold a little bit. When you do, you'll get kind of a reflective red. Okay. I think you get the idea, okay? So in a nutshell, that's what we have to do to finish this. I'll probably continue to work on this piece just so I got a finished one. And uh, that is not all we need to do though. Gold leaf, uh, you can see if you look closer, some small flakes here and there. We wanna seal that. If you can notice on the original, you can see how shiny this surface is, okay? That's not the paint. That is Mod Podge. There are other versions of this. There are spray versions. There are other manufacturers of a similar product. But you wanna cover this whole painting in this. Edges, sides, top, bottom. Especially take some time over this gold leaf, okay? When you do that, like on the original here, it's, it's very durable, okay? You can seal that. They even have a version of this is for the outdoors. You can hang this thing outdoors if you use the Mod Podge outdoor version. Okay, you'd want to paint the back of it too, but that's what our finished product is. This is what we're going to do here in the gallery in our classes. Check out our schedule. Love to have you here. Check us out, all right? Thanks for stopping by.